Let's see if his group splits up. <laughs> He's only got four as well, but yeah. No, nothing. No. Because this guy's not as stunned as the others. That's it, isn't it? Because you haven't got enough for another attack. Yep, I had to use 18% of my move to get there. Uh, right. So, which one's stunned? Uh, uh, the one next to Jobu. Yeah. Goblin free. Okay, right. so I'll, I'll walk up, take a swing at him. Okay. And let's see how much do I want Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the wounded wizard not doing too well in combat. <laughs> no. No, the wounds are a bit of a problem. Alright, goblin number three is going to continue to try and hack Jobu down. Or well, actually start, because he only has moved into range. That one three stunned, didn't she? Didn't he? I thought yeah, it was goblin. for like eight rounds. Oh, I put that by goblin two, sorry. And you decried me for writing an eight next one. No, I put a note. I just put the note by the wrong goblin. Yeah. Alright, so that's seven now. Alright, two. 73, probably isn't enough, and... Right, so you know you lose your offensive bonus for putting points into melee? Into parry, yeah. Into parry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that... Can I still make two short sword attacks? Do they still take up 50% of my move? Yeah, as long as you take the stuff out of parry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, I need to go zero parry in order to make two shots. Yeah. Yeah. In which case, I will go zero parry and take two shots. That's more like it. Yeah. <laughs> still only six hits, but... And again... Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> So Goblin 2 takes his first hits, and that is a 9A, um, A slash critical. How many criticals have I rolled in this book? Uh, Spite your fourth. Yeah. All right. Slash foe side, plus six hits and major wound. Foe six hits around and is stunned for five rounds. Add plus 20 to your next swing. Plus 20 to my next swing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Both these guys are stunned, so... 42 plus... 5. 47 experience in that. Poor, poor goblins. <laughs> so Should be goblins. Stunned. Jobu. <laughs> All right, we are going to take some quarterstaff swings at Goblin Three for having the temerity to try to attack me. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're another both stunned. So. Ooh. And that should be played. Is there not? There should be a bigger attack bonus because he's stunned. Oh, that the stuns on his defense. Stu yeah, stunned is basically. Uh, he doesn't get anything. He doesn't get an action. Yeah. He's but, at minus... I thought he was at minus 50, too. When you're stunned. Defensively. Oh, I could be wrong, but... Uh, let's have a quick look in arms law. Um, quick combat reference. Maybe it's that they're minus 50 to do anything. Yeah. Uh, static maneuver stunned minus 50. It's in modifiers. Ah, yes. I can drag and drop from there, can't I? 
And it's also a minus 50 to do a moving maneuver. Yeah. But it doesn't have any effect on um, combat, does it? Uh... Are you minus 50 to your parry, though? No. Combat defensive bonus doesn't affect it. Yeah. It doesn't say it does. I think basically you can't do much, but you can kind of continue to like wade off attacks. Yeah. So that'll be good when we're stunned. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say, I think it's basically so you don't. We'll have a look next time someone gets a, a critical stun. Anyway, you've done nine points of damage to him. I'll, I'll accept that. All right. I will try to whack him again. Nope, nothing there. All right, that's it for me. <laughs> All right, next round, back up to Raphael. And I'm now flanking him because Alice. <laughs> Continue to beat on the uh, poor, poor goblins. <laughs> yep. Is it just me who gets plus 20 to the melee attack, or is it them as well? I think it's just you. All right. I'd like to point out, though, you're the only person using a bladed weapon. Everyone is literally beating these goblins to death. Yeah. <laughs> That's that taken. <laughs> to actually hit him. Yeah. Goblin 2, 2A two um, critical. Ooh. Here's my roll. One second. Let's get to the right goblin. To a sweep drives five back three foot. Po must parry next round at minus thirty plus five hits. Okay. And next one. <laughs> oh dear. Five. Well, there's. There's a bonus on Defender Stunned. Huh. Is there? Yeah, yeah so I think yeah, mine Defender Stunned plus 20. 20. Yeah. Right, okay, we'll do that from... We need to oh. find some way of adding um, Stunned in anyway. This is a 5B critical. Ooh. Here's my D100. Sweet bruises foe's leg. Foe operates at minus 25 for three rounds plus four hits. <laughs> you really took the karate kid to heart, didn't you? Sweet <laughs> leg. No, no, I'm Jackie Chan, obviously. <laughs> so basically, he can't do anything anymore at all. Well, no, he can still die. <laughs> I'm working on it. He's only got four, six hit points left, so... Leave him to me. I right. will take care of it. Uh, well, no, the wounded wizard is going to take a crack and see, see if someone is actually weaker than he is. <laughs> no. no. Well, on the plus side, you do actually have a positive bonus now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you can have another go at hitting him if you want. Uh, let's go. Because they're both stunned. There's no real point in parry. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, well. Goblin number three. Oh, look, he's stunned. <laughs> go black. Okay. Oof. Oh, wow. Fifteen D um, slashing critical. They take it he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only an eleven on the crit. So that get, that was Goblin Two, wasn't it? Uh, yes. So fifteen D slashing plus five hits. Fomus Parry next round at minus ten. But yeah, you know, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I? Uh... Yeah, I had the extra bonus plus 20, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Does it automatically? Yeah. 
So that's 20 experience plus a D critical is another 20. <laughs> which is 80 because I'm still giving you happening. You're really running ahead here with this experience. I'm finally doing what I've been paid for. Yes. <laughs> and then I will casually stroll over to here. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to add 20 to my roll, I guess, for attacking this guy. Yeah, I think that's the best way of doing it. All right. Cause I, I, unless I can find a way of adding a modifier. It's a 62. No. <laughs> and 59. Okay, that'd be a no as well. He's, just, he's managed oh, to ward you off. Oh, that would have been 79. would have missed that. All right. Yeah. You know, he's warding you off with his sword fairly well. <laughs> Right, back up to Raphael. Two. That's. I don't know, I set my movement. And you only got time for one punch. I know. Which doesn't do any damage. No, wait, that would have been 89 with uh, stunned. Still no damage. Ah. Oh well. But you were, you were close. Another one point. And two points, you would have done one point of damage. <laughs> right. Just walk up, tap him on the shoulder. Wait for him to turn around, and the whisper brings his quarter, his quarter staff down. <laughs> uh, right, well, let's see about that. <laughs> well, yeah, considering he's it. almost dead. Oh? This might actually be a hit. <laughs> That's, that's enough. 11 points of damage. You have killed a goblin. <laughs> Hasn't he killed two goblins, technically? Because didn't he coup de grace one of the others? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So this is no longer the first time he's killed a goblin. Yep. <laughs> Avis, the natural born killer. Yeah, I'm, I'm kill stealing. And... So the first goblin got you 300 experience. This one only gets you 120. Oh, is it what? Uh, is it more beneficial to spread around the kills? Uh, well, the first first time you do it, you get a five time <laughs> bonus. Uh, after that, it becomes a two times. I think it's two okay. Times. Yeah, the first time is five. The second time is two. After that, it's one times. <laughs> So, I'm basically going for the first session, pretty much everything was five. Every, this session is going to be two, and after this session, it's pretty much going to be just basic experience. Except for me, because I don't think I've killed a goblin yet, no, still. You've not, yeah, you haven't killed anything yet. <laughs> so, how much XP did we all get from that, then? Um, one second... My calculated sets do the whole thing. <laughs> so. Just have to recalculate. Calculating. Yay. So, 61 for Jobu. 449 for Avis. Raphael, 136. And Gorblag, 395. Current totals Jobu, 567. Avis, 987. Raphael, 1,026, Warblog, 1,301. Alright, so just 150 more fights and I'll level. <laughs> About well, 20, 25. I've still got to add on experience for, like, ideas. So that will take you off several thousand. Alright. So, okay, we have successfully destroyed two isolated group of goblins. I'm going yep. to tip my bodyguard five silver pieces. Hooray! For taking care of those guys. <laughs> Take my commandment. Excellent work. Thank you. Uh. 
I like the way you kept pounding on that guy that was stunned. That was excellent. Please continue to do that. Okay, so... <laughs> There's more, more than they deserve. Yeah, my chest is kind of hurting, so... How do we heal up exactly? Uh, if we have a chance to return spells, I can do concussion math, and John can do some casting. Yes. John can do casting. <laughs> If, he was if we're going to take a rest, I've got a plus one spell adder, and I can cast a, uh, I can heal you of one to ten concussion hits. My first aid is minus 27, so it's probably best I don't try and heal you. <laughs> Ooh. You can buy herbs, uh, the ac when we get to a town or something, ac boutes that heal one to ten. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. And they're not very expensive. They're like a silver piece or two. So... Well, didn't we determine that a silver piece is like a hundred bucks? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, they're not expensive for mighty adventurers such as ourselves. <laughs> they would be far beyond the. Well, there's ten points back from my spell. Cool. Be healed. I'm carrying around one point of damage. I, I can live with that. I didn't take any damage in that encounter. Enemies try so very hard to hit me. <laughs> but they can't. So I would suggest we uh, we hide the, the, see how, how well we can hide the signs of struggle here so these goblins don't know what happened to their friends and maybe come out looking for them. Like scuff, scuff some, um, scuff dirt over the blood, uh, throw the bodies <laughs> deep in the woods. Is ninety enough to make a little goblin finger puppet out of like dead goblin to taunt the leader with? <laughs> you, you just gotta like, you know, peel, peel into this because in in the the story, this guy, that whole goblin was the other guy's son. Yeah, I want I want to make a puppet out of his son, and I want to taunt the boss with it. Well, ninety is close to a hundred, so you can make a, you know, a poor puppet. Yeah, it's not, not going to last better. very long. Yeah, I don't know. I want to see this. I want to stage the body to make it look like he killed himself out of despair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's a, no, yeah, he's he's battered and bruised. It's quite hard to make a a corpse look like he committed suicide by beating itself and slashing itself along his back and head. Oh, did any of the guys have anything in their pockets? Uh, only a few copper pieces. So all the loot they took from the town will be with the other one then. Yeah. yeah. Guess we have to go kill them. Unless they stashed it back at their camp, in which case we should totally raid their camp again. <laughs> it's quite hard to stash stuff at the <coughs> camp you burn down. Yeah. Let's go kick some stuff over and, and draw pictures in the suit. Well, let's do. I don't know. You want to? We want to draw them someplace where we'll have an advantage. I. I mean, here there's a nice defensible wall. At the goblin camp, there's a palisade. But on the other hand, they do know the camp better, so it might be worth it just to draw them here. Mm-hmm. How are you planning on drawing I, them there? Yeah. I could try to signal them. I have points in that. Why don't we just set a fire? Surely the smoke will draw them. Let's yeah. set the hobgoblin on fire. <laughs> yeah, let's set the remains of the hobgoblin on fire with a little like puppet of him next to it <laughs> yeah just yeah you can, you can burn the bodies on the, <laughs> yeah we'll stick them up on the spikes on this wall and like yeah cover them in all the clothing and burn them in effigy i have a fire starting bow on flint and steel so starting it shouldn't be a problem and i have a flint and steel Uh, sadly, my plasma cutter spell got nerfed, so I can't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's take up some positions off the road and then wait for the goblins to come along. And I'm guessing I'm that actually... counts as an extended rest as well. Yeah, you yeah, can I'm get rid of all your criticals. 
Yeah, I'm gonna actually hide hide behind this wall. I, I don't know. Can you see through this spiky whatever it is? Uh, yeah, no, but you don't know which direction they're coming from. That's true. I'll just hide. It might not the be the best position to come if they yeah they come from that direction. I'm yeah, going I'll to hide, hide by the side of it and then I'll move around. Uh, Raphael, do you or me yes. want to swap with one of the magic things just so we've not got both melee on one side and both casters on the other? That might be a good idea. Uh, Joe Boo, uh, do you want to swap? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so thick Greek, greasy black smoke comes off the hobgoblin corpse. Yeah, they they burn quite well. <laughs> <laughs> smells pretty good to me. Okay, so you've got a nice burning goblin, and yet after a while, let me just reset the combat tracker. What's your reason? Why is he like number next to that stupid? It's the best that turns up, and he's got plenty of one, two, three. Four goblins with him. And they're going to walk up from the bottom. All right, who scratched the penis in the dirt when we weren't looking? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, they're coming from the south. They won't be able to see that. <laughs> you hope. Yeah. All right. Uh, Padunk. Okay. So I am going to move over to this side of the wall. <laughs> move away. Yeah, you don't cover any open ground in that point, so should be alright. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to move through the cover and take cover back here too. So I'm going to move them up to. <laughs> Look over that trip wire. <laughs> <laughs> we already said that's above the tree. <laughs> Mm -hmm. now, so uh, Hello, I'm just Cicero. yeah, he's, yeah, he's hungry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just waiting for to see how the hobgoblin reacts to his son being uh... dead. Dead. Uh, dead. Not, not very and well. Desecrated. Yeah, dead. Desecrated on fire. Um. Yeah. He. They start rushing forward. They haven't spotted you. So they're going to rush forward and try and, like, haul him down. Okay. So... Okay. I'm, I think I can do my thing, too. Mm-hmm. At least to Galvin 6. He's kissing. Oh, gray. Again, yeah. sorry. What? Could you share the combat tracker again? Sorry. I closed mine. Or am I? Oh no, there it is. It's hidden behind a bunch of stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> I like that is I don't the need the initiative to roll bonus, very is that is that quickness? I guess it's yes. really important to have a high quickness in this game. Yes. I have a current of twenty five and a potential of twenty five. You're pretty not quick. I have a my, oh, my potential is ninety nine. So I guess when you go off levels, that's when your temporary gets closer to your potential. What if your potential is already maxed on most of this stuff? I think that's it. That makes me sad. Yeah. So I could conceivably, I'll conceivably eventually get a plus five or ten. I, I think if you get a fun. really good, I think if you get a really good roll, you can push your potential up a couple of points. Ah. Anyway, I know what I'm gonna do for my surprise. Oh yeah. Well, you guys know what I'm gonna. My instant punch knockout death move. Oh, do we have a, a surprise round? Yes. They haven't seen us. They haven't seen you, so yeah. yeah. D 
do your thing. Raphael, I'll let you go first. I just have to move one square to get to him. Um, or you could punch Goblin 6 from where you are. Well, no, I had to move one square to get to him. All right. So, so you slowly point. creep forward while they're looking at that, and then we take our surprise round. Yeah. And I believe that's open-ended since it's a skill check. Yep. Um, yeah. Yep. He He's down. Yeah, he's unconscious. Yep. Okay, and me We're again. We're going to have to figure out, out. Someone's going to complain that that's you know, just not fair. But sorry for now. <laughs> they're only yeah. goblins. They, they're not hard to knock out. Yeah. So even Bilbo manages to kill a few. I know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do my thing and lock down the Hobgoblin Chief. So he's got he's got to beat 50 on his resistance roll, minus whatever for emotional distress, since this is a mental lockdown. We should set up your. Uh, oh, that's right. You're. You might be able to do the resistance thing too with that spell. What thing? Well, you do a base attack when you're attacking someone. I don't know if that one has, is resisted or not. Um. <laughs> it, it just says one target as long as I concentrate on them within a hundred feet. So. I think it's just flat resistance. I don't. I don't think I have to roll anything since it's just line of sight, basically. So I don't have to aim it. Hey, Gray, what's a hobgoblin? What's a hobgoblin sheaf? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll figure it out for next time. I'm. I'm pretty sure you'll have an attack like I did, because it's not a miss. It's. It's whether or not they. Uh, it's the power of your spell. And you get bonuses. You probably get better bonuses. They'd probably be rolling like um, less well, than 50. Let me see my spell level. Is that presence? Um, yeah. What's your presence? Jeez. Uh, What's presence. your presence bonus when it says total bonus? 20. Okay, so you should be plus 40 on your roll. So roll a d100. Roll a d100. Open ended. A six. <laughs> that could have been really bad. That could have been. Actually, it's actually not going to be bad. It's hard to mess up spells. Well, if it, it, on open ended, if he rolled one lower, he would have had a negative roll. You're plus 40. So that just means he is plus five on his roll. So no, I'm sorry, he's plus zero, and it goes up to a forty-six. So he so he gets a straight resistance versus this, fifty-fifty. Yeah, and he's rolled sixty-three, so he's resisted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still XP, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. did I? Uh, do a surprise spear throw against Goblin 8 as well. Yep. Don't ask me why I bothered to click through there. <laughs> 121. 8. Um, a puncture. Goblin 8. Is that a critical, yeah? Yep, yeah, critical. 66. Strike through foe's shield shoulder. Arm is useless. Add plus 10 to your next attack. Foe is done for three rounds. Nice shot. And uh, how much is uh, throwing spear attack? What percentage of move? 50. Yeah, 50. 50. Right, I can get a melee attack off as well then. 152. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to swap weapons. Oh, so no. you should have one in one hand. Yeah. yeah. You're not using shield, yeah. so. One second, I'll just do the experience for the A critical. No worries. Um. <laughs> you okay? So yeah, it's a throwing spear, so literally you just need to throw it, then draw the sword. But you can have the sword in the other hand, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
13 C puncture. 81. 